This is an applications presentation of laser astrography used in aerospace NDT, specifically for the inspection of control surfaces and satellite solar arrays. Here is an overview of control surface laser astrography measurement applications. Some of the applications include applications using aluminum honeycomb, foam core sandwich constructions, hybrid honeycomb using, for example, carbon fiber reinforced plastic laminate and aluminum honeycomb, and also carbon fiber reinforced plastic laminate. This aluminum honeycomb sample is an aileron of a fighter jet. The test object size is 500 millimeters by 320 millimeters and includes five marked indications of known damage. Using either vacuum ambient or vacuum partial excitation using a five kilopascal pressure jump, the duration of this inspection took approximately five seconds, yielding an inspection rate of 1.4 meters squared per minute. As we can see, the five marked indications were identifiable discontinuities, including a six previously unknown discontinuity. The identifications indicated six defects. One instance of a crack core within the honeycomb core, B and C, which were corrosion damage between the skin and the core, D and F, which were crush cores within the honeycomb core, um, also entailing uh, no bond splits. And finally, E, which was a crack core with also a no bond split as well. Another application of aluminum honeycomb construction with a 10 millimeter cell core. The test object size was 200 millimeters by 152 millimeters. Using again vacuum ambient or vacuum partial excitation with a pressure jump from 0 to 12 kilopascals, the duration of this inspection took approximately 7 seconds, yielding an inspection rate of 0.3 meters squared per minute. Notice that the individual cell calls are identifiable in the phase display map. This measurement indicated six discontinuities. A, B and C were all indications of crushed cores specific through impact damage. Discontinuities D, E and F were cutouts along the edge. This is a sensitivity analysis of the front side and back side of the panel. Notice that increasing the shear distance increased the number of fringes and specifically density of fringes and also increasing the change in pressure also increases the number of fringes and the density of fringes. Notice that the unique response here 2 at 4 kilopascal jump and 1 at 8 kilopascal jump yield the same measurement. This is similar for this measurement and this measurement as well. This is the control surface of a wing section from a fighter jet. The test object size is 285 millimeters by 350 millimeters. Using vacuum ambient or again partial excitation with a pressure jump from zero to four kilopascals. The duration of this inspection took five seconds, yielding an inspection rate of 1.4 meters squared per minute. This is a video recording of the measurement from the front side and of the back side. On the front side of the panel, there were five indications. A and B were indications of crack cores with no bond splits. Indication C was a cell despond. Indication D was an edge despond. And E was a crack core along the rib. On the back side of the panel, there were also six indications. Indication A was a crack core with no bond split. B was a crush core, which effectively caused a dispond. C, D, E and F were all indications of local cell despondence. And G was a crack core also along the rib. 
This discontinuity was identifiable on both the back and also front side of the panel. Application D is an example of a foam core sandwich. This foam core sandwich uses a glass fiber reinforced plastic skin and a foam core. The test object size is 510 millimeters by 510 millimeters by 15 millimeters in thickness. This inspection was divided up into four inspections. However, chirography could have also been used for the inspection of the tire panel. The four inspections of the foam core sandwich were completed using vacuum excitation. Each inspection required only 8 seconds, yielding an inspection rate of 0.9 meters squared per minute. The back side of the panel was also inspected using the same testing parameters. Here is a stitch result of the front side and back side inspections. On the front side there were five indications of local desponding and on the back side there were four indications of local desponding. This is another application example of a foam core sandwich being inspected using laser chirography. The test object size was 500 millimeters by 500 millimeters by 15 millimeters. Similar to the previous application example, the inspections were completed in four segments. However, chirography could have performed an entire measurement of the entire field of view of the test object size. Using vacuum excitation, the duration of this inspection for each inspection area was 0.9 meters squared per minute. There were four indications on for this particular measurement. A, B, C and D were all artificial stiffened inserts. Here is an application of a hybrid honeycomb component. This component is made from carbon fiber and plastic laminate skin and aluminum honeycomb. The test object size is 400 by 300 by 50 millimeters. This sample was only inspected using thermal excitation, specifically through the application of 10 seconds of heating applied using two 1,250 watt halogen heat lamps. The heat was applied for 10 seconds and a reference step was applied after 15 seconds of the measurement. On the right hand side there is a video of the measurement procedure. After the application of 10 seconds of heat, there was a delay of 5 seconds before the reference step was acquired as can be seen. From then on a snapshot image was taken from every second up to 30 seconds. As can be seen, there are eight indications of the measurement of inserts on one side and of local desponding on the other side. This is another application of a hybrid honeycomb component. This component has carbon fiber reinforced plastic skin laminate and aluminum honeycomb core. The test object size is 400 by 150 millimeters by 20 millimeters. This sample was inspected using both thermal but also vacuum ambient excitation. The vacuum ambient excitation, for example, with a pressure jump of 5 kilopascals on the left hand side and 10 kilopascals on the right hand side, using a shear insensitivity of 5 millimeters in the 45 degree direction on both occasions, yields the top two phase map image results. Notice that the delta pressure whereby we have a pressure jump of 10 kilopascals yields a higher number and density of fringes. Compared to vacuum excitation, thermal excitation through the application of halogen heat lamps yields only one line of defects. Comparing the result from thermal to vacuum ambient excitation, the following phase maps are distinguishably different. On the left hand side is an application video completed of the thermal approach. Heat is applied for a duration of time, then afterwards a reference measurement is taken, of which the snapshot measurements are then compared to discreetly.
The following application is of a carbon fiber reinforced plastic airfoil. Using vacuum ambient excitation, the left image is acquired using a pressure jump of 5 kPa and the right of 15 kPa. Notice in the top left hand corner there is localized disbonding. There are also some indications along the bond line that the bond line is incomplete. The duration of both inspections took 5 seconds and yields an inspection rate of 0.8 meters squared per minute. Using thermal excitation with two 750 watt halogen heat lamps, heat was applied for 5 seconds. A reference image was taken at 7 seconds and snapshots were taken thereafter until 20 seconds, meaning the whole inspection required only 20 seconds for completion, yielding an inspection rate of 0.2 meters squared per minute. Notice that the phase display image indicates localized concentrations of which there is a drilled hole inside the rear of the CFRP. The bond line also indicates that there is some localized disbonding. Here is an overview of laser stratigraphy applications used for the inspection of satellite solar array panels. Application A is of a Aramid honeycomb and application B is of a carbon fiber reinforced plastic honeycomb. The example of an aramid honeycomb is shown here on the right. A localized disc bond of 12.6 millimeters is detectable using laser stratigraphy through vacuum excitation with a pressure jump of 5 kilopascals. The second application, which is a carbon fiber reinforced plastic laminate and also sandwich component, is inspected using thermal excitation. Notice using the inspection, it is possible to see the individual cells within inside the honeycomb. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions or comments regarding the application of laser stratigraphy NET, please contact Dantec Dynamics.